What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're moving on to a bit of a more advanced frame function modding topic, which is HScript. So HScript is interesting because it's actual coding, so I can't really help you guys with a lot of stuff with it. I can run you through the basics and then do a few examples in the next few videos, but I can't teach a full course on it like, you know, I have been doing for all this stuff. It's not super simple. I will be running through this video, how you can learn it though, and everything you're going to need to use it. So let's just start with the basics. How do you start with a script? In your mods folder, assuming you've already created your mod, you can go into the scripts folder, and as you can see, we have been creating scripts for our files in the past. For example, our songs and all that stuff. You know, we had a script for our dialogue, but yeah. To start with creating a script, you have a songs folder, so just name it whatever your song is named. So like, Bopibo, and then end it off with HXC to make it a hate script file. But we're not going to do that. Stages will make it a hate script file on the stage, so that means if you select like the main stage for example. Levels is weeks. Dialogue is not actually, it's not something you should be messing with. I have a tutorial on dialogue itself. Characters will be for a specific character and shaders. We might get into shaders in a future video. There are also some more advanced types of scripts. Like you can add like a new menu button and add like completely new menus and stuff. And I do want to cover that at some point, but not now. So how do you actually write these files? How do you edit them? You're going to want to download Visual Studio Code. Now, I already have it downloaded. You're going to want to go ahead and download that from the official site. So go ahead and press download for Windows or whatever platform you're using and just uh, la launch it. You're going to want to go into the extensions and search up Hakes. You're going to want to search up the Hakes support. And then when you launch a file, let's say, let's just create a new script for Boffy Bow, for example but just do whatever your custom song is. And you type text, it'll just be kind of white, but we want like correct formatting. So, all right, so we're gonna wanna do control K, press M, and then search up Hakes. If you install the Hakes add-on, you should get this. So now it will work with uh, the correct formatting stuff. So if we go like into an actual file, control A, or Control K, M, Hakes, you'll see everything is properly colored and all that thing, so that makes it a lot more pleasant to read. Now, for actually learning it, you can go to the Hakes Flixel documentation. It's a good thing to just go through the tutorial and stuff and make your own Hakes projects and stuff, but I'm not going to help much with that. There's plenty of good resources on that, and it's not very funky related. But if you're interested in modifying like real things in the Friday Night Funkin' code, you can go to the public source code, which you can check out in reference. Um, I'd just like to throw in here because I think it'd be uh, relevant to this section. I know a lot of people have been wanting me to make a video on how to compile the Friday Night Funkin' source code, but that's kind of why I'm making this video. HScript can do basically anything source can, so or the source code can, so I don't feel a need to compile that. Instead, I'm just going to guide you on how to use HScript instead. Now, I will be releasing more tutorials on HScript in the future. You know, I want to cover like custom menus and stuff, but I just wanted to put this tutorial out to get you guys started. Hope you enjoyed. Bye, guys.